Hello everyone and welcome to my car boot sale tool haul for the 20th and 21st of August, that's Saturday and Sunday, uh, summer 2022. Um, start off with uh, this bunch over here, this bunch uh, was one price from one seller. We have a file card, silver line brand. Uh, was uh, bits of fluff caught in there, but it's cleaned out nicely, and um, I glued down the actual um, board that has all spikes on it, and that should uh, serve me quite well. Um, we have a whole load of O-rings because you just never know when you might need them. Um, it says here there everything from three three mil up to twenty four mil. Um, do some DeWalt bits in a DeWalt case, uh, just a few of them, but um, they were star bits so they could be quite useful, plus uh, Phillips number 3. Uh, a set of hex keys, um, quite nice ones, metric sized, go from um, 10 mil, as indicated here, down to um, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3 and 2 and a half. Um, they came on a little holder but that's a bit mangled up. And then this um, quite chunky pair of um, plumber's grips. Um, do you call it a plumber's tool? Or does it have a better name than that? Um, anyway, it's quite chunky, slightly bigger than what I'm used to um, owning and um, that's my normal size pair uh, what I would consider normal anyway and uh, as you can see it's quite a bit longer and uh, slightly chunkier um, so it's cleaning up quite nicely on the wire wheel um, so that lot there were four pounds altogether I managed to get uh, two small Picador clamps um, at one pound each. Uh, this very nice wooden handled stubby screwdriver with quite a nice square shank profile there. Uh, this was 50 pence. So this item was quite interesting. Um, it looks a bit like a chisel, that's what I initially thought at first, uh, with this face on the front, although it's got a couple of chips out of it. Um, but uh, one of the interesting features is that uh, if you look down the profile, I hope you can see that this face here is actually curved. Um, it's got micro grooves along this face, which um, it reminds me a bit of a sharpening steel that you'd use in the kitchen, for sharpening your knives. Um, and I can only think that it's a scraper of some sort, but if anybody has seen a tool with that kind of profile before and has a bit more insight, it um, be great to hear from you. I also picked up these two um, adjustable spinners. Uh, Jackdaw Garrington's from 12-1955. And uh, Barco uh, 0671 8 inch, very rusty. Both of them were seized shut, um, but I've uh, spent a bit of time freeing them up, they work fine now. Um, as you can see, the wheels work in the opposite sense between the two of them. Um, so, still a bit of cleaning up to do, but uh, for the pair of those, I paid 50 pence. Um, I also got some of my favourite car polish for a pound. There's about uh, that much left in there, quarter maybe. Um, it's expensive stuff that. And uh, the last thing I got over the weekend was uh, this thing. Um, I bought it as a hand router, um, but it is in fact, uh, well, Powercraft. And it's called an Omnisaw. Um, so it's got a really small 1 8 inch collet and a quarter inch collet 
and uh, it's got a few of these bills which are more or less for um, plunge cutting in plasterboard and wood and so forth uh, according to the instructions um, so I I hope it'll work as a router it's got a 30,000 rpm spin speed and um, a plunge um, plate so um, we'll have to see how that pans out anyway this thing was uh, five pounds so I hope it proves useful and that is my haul for that weekend thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon well I've just tried it out on that bit and it made quite a nice routing um, groove there